Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. Oh my gosh, it's time for some more tent. <laughs> okay, in between this stream and last stream, I caught back up so we just have one save file that we did everything on from the mistake from last time. So it's it's all caught up on one save file, everything is there. Um, and we are we are getting started with chapter five. Okay. Oh my gosh, show them the game. There we go, OBS. Okay. So so that's where we are. We're on chapter five and um, Basically, we've got a bunch more monsters to oversoul. And the best way to do this once you get to chapter five is just go to Bavel. It's just go to Bavel because all the monsters in the game are in the Via Infinito. So if we go there, then we can get everything. Let me ride. Okay, yes, give me a ride. Thank you so much, Koneko. Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay, so we're gonna progress down there, and there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. There's fifteen more things that we have to get oversold before um, we've gotten everything. So let's see how many of those we can do. I, uh, I, I, some of these are gonna be easy. Some of these are gonna be not so easy. So we'll see how long this takes us. Hey. Oh, we gotta watch. Do we have to watch this scene? Can I, can I Hi, skip Marota. it? I can't skip it. I can't skip it. Aren't you a member of the Youth League? What are you doing in front of New Yevon's headquarters? Actually, New Yevon invited me. <laughs> I thought More you were like doing reconnaissance, me, really. dude. The chain of command here. Yeah, I can't skip this. Apart. Now they're scared Bavel will be left defenseless. Come on. They're so desperate to keep their numbers high. They'll take anybody, even them. Well, the kindergartens hey, are Rhoda, awesome though. What are you talking about? Why, you? I was just saying how lucky we are the fearless kindergartens are here. True. Now go on and get back to your rounds, soldier. Oh, okay. See you later, Lady Yuna. Yeah, but Posse actually does do something out. worthwhile. Yes, sir. He does. We're about to go to partake. So many of them. So many kindergartens. They're multiplying. Yeah, they're turning into a regular kinder core. Well, at least they're having fun. True. Maybe fun is all this world really needs. <laughs> I think so. Fun is very important. Of course, some people stay the same no matter how fast the world changes around them. Okay. Done with that scene. Let's get down here. Look! The goal Can I skip this one? I can't skip this oh. one either! Lady Yuna, look, look, look! Ta-da! We found it all by ourselves. Okay. Let's make a save. Ah, oh, via infinito. We're back again. Where? Oh, we can oh. skip that one, thank god. We don't really need you, but I'll pick you up. Uh, not now. Alright. So. The first thing we have to oversoul is actually on floor 4 through 6, and it's Boris. So we need to get through the first couple of cloisters first. Okay. Not, I didn't mean to do frequent encounters. I meant to do super speed. So every single enemy in the game is down here in the Via Infinito. So when it comes to oversouling things, basically anything that you could have possibly missed in earlier chapters, um, anything like that, you can find it here. It's everything. So... We're gonna get down to floor four, and we're gonna start hunting for the first one that we need. Okay, so cloister two. Okay, 
So if you're working on getting this particular garment grid, you can just do it all in chapter five. You don't have to do anything in chapter one and three like I did. You can just go straight here. And as you can see, the girls are in their 50s now for the levels. Okay, so here we go. Floor four. This is where Boris should start showing up. Remember, he was a boss in the, um, in the first chapter, but he is oversoulable. So it's very hard to time it where he becomes oversold during the boss battle in chapter one. So this is the better way to get his oversoul, is to come do it here. Okay, I'm not gonna jump down. I'm just gonna, let's do frequent encounters and let's run around in circles until we get enough Boruses. And for Boris is a big crab monster. And so he only goes with the other big crab monster, the other crab boss. And um, you gotta get eight of them. So we gotta find eight Borises here. There was one. So we just gotta kill him over and over. Now because he's a level, he, he was a boss during chapter one, like he's gonna be very easy to kill by the time you get here, no matter what. Man, my girls are so powerful. They just one hit. One hit every tang. So all the things that I have left to Oversoul. Boris, then we have the Guardian Beast and the Flame Dragon. Uh, then we have the Chocobo Eater, the Drowsy Ochu. Okay, so we got the other Ochus Oversoul, but we gotta do the Drowsy one. Um, Humbaba, oh, there's Boris's Oversoul. Easy peasy. Okay, we can move on. Oh, I don't need, I don't need frequent anymore. <laughs> um, Humbaba, that's a boss, but you can oversoul him too. Cactuars, like the regular Cactuars, we don't have that oversold. Um, also, two of the large enemies from um, the Cactuar, like optional uh, dungeon area, the Wasp Queen and the Heavy Salad. Azidaka, um, from the end, <laughs> the end of the game, you fight Azidaka. Uh, Omega Weapon, also we need to oversoul him. Um, we need to oversoul Chalk. Uh, we have not oversold her. Eh. Um, so we'll have to do that. We did get Conqueror oversold. Remember last time we accidentally, like I wasn't trying to, but it just kind of happened. Um, and then Critical Bug and Insect Matriarch from the uh, optional dungeon that's down in um, the Thunder Plains. We got to get oversouls for those. And then last, but certainly not least, we have to get an Oversoul for Paragon. Yes, we have to fight Oversouled Paragon and then beat Trema so that we don't die and get a game over. That will be a challenge. That will be a challenge. Um, I'm going to show you how we're going to do it when we get there. But uh, yeah, Paragon. That boss has an Oversoul mode, so we have to do it. Okay, here we go. Seven. This is where we can encounter guardian beasts and flame dragons. Okay, so we're just going to run run circles here until we get guardian beasts and flame dragons oversold. So let's turn up the encounter rate. Oh, there's a flame dragon. So the flame dragons take six to oversold, 
and the guardian beasts take 10 to oversoul. So we gotta do those. We got Boris pretty quick, so hopefully we'll get the other two pretty quick as well. Or the next two pretty quick as well. Oh, there's one. There's a guardian beast. Okay, so we gotta keep fighting those until we get an oversoul of him. We're still on the very easy floors, of course. Is this? No, that's Lesser Drake. What does the Flame Dragon even look like? Is that the guy that pops out of the wall? Supposedly, Flame Dragon spawns on 7 through 9, so he should spawn on this floor, just like the Guardian Beast does. Haven't seen him so far yet, though. So for dinner tonight, for for dinner tonight, we're cooking ribs. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. I love ribs. And we're going to use a new seasoning on them that's like this apple thing. So I hope it's good. Ooh, what are you? Oh, behemoth. Yeah, we don't need to do behemoth. We do need to do humbaba, though. Wait, he's, which he is a type of behemoth. Oh my gosh, I'm just not seeing the flame dragons. We've gotten two guardian beasts, but no flame dragons. We might have to try on a cloister eight for them. I wonder if the lesser drakes, I don't think the lesser drakes count. I don't think the drakes count as dragons. So I don't think killing them like helps us get towards the oversoul for him. where they are with their abilities. So I didn't check that at the beginning. Okay, she's working on Mega Phoenix. Okay. Just making her way through Samurai. She's also working on Mega Phoenix. Okay. Alright, alright. Yeah, Alchemist takes forever because of the last one. Oh, there's a Flame Dragon. Okay, so they do appear on this floor. It just wasn't... They just weren't spawning for me. <laughs> okay. Why is that Tonberry chilling, like, right there? Why doesn't he walk away? Is he trying to taunt me? See, we're gonna have ribs, we're gonna have macaroni salad, and we're gonna have a cucumber salad. Oh, Flame Dragon Oversoul, that was fast. I guess I was really close. I must have been really close to the flame dragon one. Well, they only take six. Apparently only take six, so that's not surprising. Okay. Guardian Beast. We've killed what? That was number three or number four? Can't be too much longer. More flame dragons. Bam, bam, bam. If we get the behemoth up to Oversoul, we'll try to run from him so that we can have that just ready. Ready to go. Bam, 
pew, pew. Victory! Now I'm getting lots of flame dragons. I was complaining about them not spawning, and now I'm like, wait, where's my guardian beast? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's Oversoul. Okay, sweet. Bye. Okay, now that we've gotten guardian beasts and flame dragons, we need to get down to floor number 16 for chocobo eaters. So let's run that way. We're still going to fight on the way. So basically, because every monster in the game appears in the Via Infinito, they all have like a floor range of where they appear. So like they'll appear on like one to like five floors, depending on like their rarity and stuff like that. And it kind of goes in the same order of like when you would have likely encountered them in the actual game. So the easier ones and stuff at the beginning and then it grows to the harder ones. So that's why like love the um, bosses from like the very beginning of the game, we're getting them on these early floors. So Boris appears on floor four, five and six. Tonberry. I've already got you oversold, but we got to kill you anyways. Goodbye. I'm wondering if for oversold Paragon, like, what level I should be. I hadn't really even thought about that. Like, am I, am I going to have to spend some time leveling up, or is just running through here going to be plenty? You don't have to really think about that. Almost there. So really you can do all of your requirements for this garment grid pretty much down in the Via Infinito. But I like to break it up because I don't want to be like just in one place for so long. Then it gets more interesting. So we're just doing the chapter five stuff down here. this 15 okay one more all right here we go cloister 16 now we should be able to run into chocobo eaters and when it comes to chocobo eaters to get him to oversoul we need to kill six 
So it should be something less than six <sighs> for however many times we've killed chocobo eaters beforehand. Let's run right here. Okay, higher encounters. That's another one, the basilisks that we're gonna have to make over soul for doing chalk. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to that. There's an eater. I can't believe I haven't even killed six chocobo eaters, even though I know I've seen them down here. So we've killed it, killed it at least like, I guess it would have had to have been at least, but we killed it once when we did the actual chocobo dungeon. But we only completed the dungeon the one time. We went down in there before, but we didn't complete it. I think. So maybe we've only killed like two or three of them. And I'm just wrong on like remembering killing them down here more frequently. Get out of here, Machina. I'm looking for chocobo eaters. I saw that preemptive stripe box and thought for a second it was oversoling. I was like, no, I need to run. So save that. little chocobo eater. We have chocobos. I know where you can find some. Callie is raising them uh, on the Meehan High Road. Because apparently she got rewarded for her shenanigans. Another eater? Okay, no oversoul yet. And I know I've killed at least three chocobo eaters, because of course we killed the boss version when we did that way back. Uh, still no oversoul, and we've killed him now three times here, so I've killed at least four. Unless, oh, I bet the counts, the counts of when we've killed him, we have killed him a lot more, but it was in the arena. And if you oversoul him in the arena, it doesn't count towards your, uh, your completion for the garment grid. So we have killed a lot more than six. No, I didn't mean to jump. Oh well, he's still on floor 17. I'll just run around here too. Oversoul? No, not yet. It really is going to be six. I must have tried to do it in the arena, and then it didn't work. Like most of them didn't. Oversoul? There we go. Okay, let's get him. Nice.
Okay, this is progressing pretty well. We've got four down already. Now let's get to floor 20 for that boss. My gosh, how much, um, I feel like I've killed a lot of those, uh, boss list things and they're not oversouling. At least on these few floors. Must take a lot. Okay, here we go. Number 20. Let's, um, go up and we need to check and make sure that We've got that registered. The ones that we've gotten already. The Boris Guardian Beast Flame Dragon and Chocobo Eater. What's up, Shinra? Okay, where's Boris? missed him. There he is. Boris has gotten. Okay. Um, Guardian Beast and Flame Dragon and Chocobo Eater. There's Chocobo Eater. There's Guardian Beast. Okay. Just gotta make sure about Flame Eater. Yep. Uh, Flame Dragon. My bad. But he's right there. Okay. So those are all good. Let's go back to Bavel. Now you want to be a hot spot, Bavel. Okay. What's up, Keenock? You were Orin's bestie. You were his friend. This is the other one, Ariane. This is the other um crab that you can fight. But we already did his oversoul. So we're good on that. Okay. Not now. All right, first 20 floors down. Next thing that we need is on floor 27. Okay, so we gotta get to the 27th cloister. So we're just gonna times two speed run there. Killing on the way. Know if those big guys oversoul. Oh, I oh I thought I ran into the Tomberry. <laughs> but no. Let's 
Salads and wasps are gonna have to oversold as well. Because we gotta do the big one. Oh, the Geminis do oversold. I must just already have all of them. I don't have anything of that type on my list. Excuse me. I need a LaCroix with less bubbles. Maybe I need to just like pre open my LaCroix and shake them up a little bit. moving along. Let's see. I guess... Yeah, none of the samurai abilities seem to be, like, that high points. I saw, like, one at the bottom that was 140, but nothing too crazy. Okay, 24. Oh. This way. gonna let you get me down. I'm gonna hop hop. Get him. Malbros, we don't have to oversell any of those. Thankfully. Already got him. Oh, not that way. Forgot which direction you're supposed to go on this pattern. The other way. This one. Yeah, it's right, left, right. Bye bye, Tonberry. See, there's a sandworm. So we could have just come down here and got it if we wanted to. Is this floor 26 or 27? I actually wasn't watching, but I think it's 26. Okay, yeah, 27. All right, so now we are going to hunt for Drowsy Ochu. Oh, not you, stupid gel. I hate you. I already tackled you in the Makalania woods, oversold and everything.
Okay, let's run around right here. Look for Drowsy Ochu. And for Ochus, you need to kill 12 of them to get them to Oversoul. Long-ass intro animation. You know, I don't know if I would be as bothered by the gels. I mean, they're still annoying, but I don't know if I would be as bothered if their, like, intro and death animations weren't, like, so freaking long and dramatic. They could just have shorter ones. I think that would help. But the gels are drama. All right, Ochus, where are you? I think these drowsy ochus that we're looking for here, you can also get them in chapter five um, on the, I wanna say in the Mushroom Rock Road area. So I wanna say that's the other spot you can get them. Because everything else so far, Boris, Guardian Beast, Flame Dragon, and Chocobo Eater, those were like um, mini bosses. You know, those were bosses, but um, we didn't over happen to oversoul them when we fought them as bosses, so we had to come down here to get them to oversoul. But this drowsy Ochu is an actual regular enemy, not a boss. Okay, yeah, still pretty cheap ability. Let's see what the next one is. Come on, give me an Ochu. There's one. Okay, and it's drowsy, yes. Okay, so we just gotta get uh, potentially 12 more of those. My gosh, we're gonna end up oversoling the Shell Shocker. <laughs> Even though we spent so much time on him. And we did it the, the regular way. This pairing. Mm -mm. About to go try the next floor, see if we get more Ochus that way. We've only got in one.
Yeah, let's hop down to the next one and see if we get some more Ochus. Because I feel like this spot, they're just not popping up. I'm getting like mostly this, this grouping right here with the Quirrell and the Gel. See if we have better luck here. Maybe like right in front of this Tonberry. See what happens. I can smell the smoker going with those ribs. Gonna be so good. Oh, he didn't even get to do a squisher thing. Killed him so fast. Oh, there's an Ochu. Okay, let's try like let's try to run around this little strip where he popped up. And see if we get some better spawn rates here. Come here, Ochus. Oh, excuse me. I don't even know if y'all could hear that. There's another Ochu. Okay. Maybe this is a better spot. Yeah, okay, this is a better spot. Riku's gonna finish Samurai pretty soon. Just got those three skills left. And we're gonna end up with all the girls with all the skills too. We're gonna have to start using their like special ones to get those skills. Ochu! Okay, no Oversoul yet. It is 12 of them, that's kind of a lot. Compared to the other ones we did so far. Oh you. Oh you. Do any of y'all have St. Patty's Day plans? Everybody should have some beer and some corned beef and cabbage, at least. Even if you don't have any specific plans. And you gotta wear green, of course, tomorrow. Everybody better be wearing green tomorrow. Oh my gosh, so many snails.
that is what I'm doing, by the way. We're having corned beef and cabbage tomorrow. Ah, uh, no oversoul yet. Okay. It probably is gonna have to be killing all 12 because I had to do the other Ochus and I stopped killing Ochus after I oversold him. So it probably was like at a full 12. So what is this, like Ochu number seven? Something like that. Got him. So after like doing some of this, I am kind of convinced that 10-2 works the same way as 10, where like you, like certain areas of the map have like certain like spawn percentages. So if you're looking for something rare, you there are like areas you can run on the map that have the spawns of that thing like it's got to work the same because like we found that with with multiple monsters now where like the spawn rate will be crap in one little spot and then you go to another little spot and it's better and it would make sense that it works like 10 10 as well like why not why wouldn't they just keep that you know There's another. We gotta be getting close to 12 at this point. Maybe two or three more? Come on, give me more. Oh, choose. I think I only need a couple more. Maybe killing this grouping over and over is like revenge for all the pain that Forest Watch put me through during the last run. That was a lot of pain that it put me through. Alright. Heal up. Come on, Mr. Ochu. There's another. Ah, oh, no, oversoul yet. Okay. Come on. It's soon, it's soon. Next one.
Oh my gosh, we oversold the snail twice trying to find these Ochus. Ridiculous. Die gel. Die gel. Ha ha ha. Ah, uh, still no. Okay. Come on, come on. Next one, next one. Oh, the Kawiral oversold. Oh my gosh. On. This next one is like got to be the last one. up all my potions. Oh, not Garmin Crits. I want to see where that with their abilities. Uh, okay, halfway through Ether. Okay, we're almost done with SOS Critical. Okay, 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 okay. Man, once Pain learns Alchemist, she's going to know everything. It's going to be just her, uh, her special dress sphere next. Ah, oh. yes, okay, finally. Done with that. Okay, next thing I need is on floor number uh, 33. We're done with stupid Ochus. We've oversold all of them. Oh, not this way. This way.
Need to get off these floors so we stop fighting the gels and using up all of our potions. Alright, 32. One more floor before we're at our next step. Come on. There we go. Get that, Tom. Barry. What are we doing here on floor 33? What we are doing here on floor 33 is looking for Gukumats, which are Basilisk. And we need to get them to Oversoul. We don't need the Gukumats Oversoul, but we're gonna need to Oversoul Chalk. And the easiest way to do that would be if we um, just get her up to Oversoul on this floor. Because if the Basilisk is on Oversoul, then she will Oversoul. Now, if you miss doing that, it's not a big deal because after you fight her, she will appear as a regular enemy for the next few floors. But I want to fight her boss version. I just think that would be fun. So we're going to try to get the Gukumats up to Oversoul. And we already fought like a lot of the white Basilisks on a previous floor. I'm like, I'm not seeing... Okay, it's just Adamantois. Okay. So the Gukumats are on um, floor 33, 34, 35. So let me try the next floor. Yeah, 34. Let's see if we get some here. There we go. This guy. So we're going to try to get that boss list to oversoul before we get a chalk, so that chalk just oversouls. Tom Berry. Let's just run right here. Okay, yes, yeah, some do spawn right there. Alright. Oh shit! I don't mean I don't want to kill it. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Okay, got it. I got it, I got it. Okay. Sweet. So now that we'll chalk will oversoul when we go up to her. I found a new favorite emote combo. Thumper making the carp flip. Oh my god. It is Thumper. It's Thumper. Oh my god, that's so cute. That is so cute. I love the carp flippy. Who has that? Okay, now every time we see a boss list, we have to escape. We gotta get off these floors. That is so cute, Koneko. Oh my god. Okay, 36. So 36 through 39, this is our next one. We need to get oversold Humbaba. That's the behemoth um, boss. We need to fight. The, he, he, behemoths take 20. Behemoths take 20 to uh, 
to Oversoul. So like, oh, there's one. Okay, Humbaba. So we might be fighting him for a minute, depending on how many spawns. And look at, look at this, look at this. After you kill him, he does Meteor every freaking time. So stupid. Both of those are from Princess Ka um, Kaura. I don't think I don't think I follow her. I don't think I know her. We have to fix that. Following for emoji combos is like so valid. By the way, let's see if I do a shout out, and I then I can follow her. She's like, who the heck is this person shouting me out? There, now it gives me the button. Okay. Okay, done. Done. Now I can do the do that emo combo too. <laughs> that flipping um that flipping Magikarp is too cute. If that's not like the most Magikarp Magikarp emote I've ever seen. Okay, Humbaba. You need to oversoul for me, okay? We killed lots of behemoths earlier, so we it shouldn't take 20. We shouldn't have to fight that many to get it to Oversoul. Oh, there's tentacles. We already got you, dude. We got you. Ambushed. That's rude. Still got you in one hit. Come on, we need more humbabas. There's one. Yay. I wish there was a way you could, like, kill him without him doing stupid Meteor. Like, my god. This is so unnecessary. That's three so far. I guess I could have just fought Behemoth so that we wouldn't have to do all this, but, like, I didn't do that. <laughs> I forgot that Humbaba does the annoying Meteor at the end, so I thought, like, whatever. I'll just kill Humbabas. It's fine. I don't need to prep. Oh, Riku only has one more skill for finishing Samurai. Oh, there we go. Oversoul? No. Of course not. That's Humbaba number four. This is going to take all my potions. Oh, there's another number five. Oh, we need oversold um, wasps too, so I might as well run since we got that. So we're gonna need those kind of soon. Then I won't have to redo. Because it takes a lot of wasps. It takes 18 wasps to oversoul, so I don't want to have to do that again if I don't have to.
18 wasps sounds like an average summer picnic. <laughs> oh my god. So I actually, I can't stand like wasps and bees and stuff. Like if one is, if one is near me, like I just, I can't, I like run away. I don't know why, like why them? Um, other bug bites like don't scare me that way, but I can't handle those. I don't know. So like if there's one wasp, I'm like, bye. Tell me when the wasp is gone, I'll come back. <laughs> I can't handle it. I'm absolutely terrified of wasps because when I was little, a wasp wanted my lemonade and stung me in the cheek. <gasps> it got your face? Oh my god. You have you have every right to be scared. Like, I can't believe it got your face. That's terrible. I mean, that's a bad place to get a bug bite no matter what, but a wasp sting? Ew. Awful. I would be horrified. I don't think I ever got like stung on my face or whatever. I think I just got normal bee stings as a kid, you know. Um, but uh, but yeah, I can't stand them. Maybe maybe those just hurt way worse than other bug bites. I have I have no idea. Could not tell you. I do know when I get mosquito bites, like they last forever, and they're super itchy for me. Like I have a, I feel like I have an extra, extra reaction to mosquito bites that's like not what most people go through for mosquito bites. Yeah, no, I freeze up when they go near me. Yeah, I kind of do too. I mean, not like, I don't freeze up, like I literally run away. If it's sitting somewhere where I can see it, it's eating, I'm fine continuing with whatever I was doing. But if they fly somewhere, but if they fly somewhere near me, they got to get the fuck away from me. Yeah, it's the sound when I hear like that zzz sound and it's so loud when it's like wasps and bees and stuff um i just i can't handle it the sound drives me crazy i like get really scared i heard that i heard that elephants are actually scared of bees which is funny um but i heard that so i just think like well if an elephant is is scared of it i think it's okay to be scared of it because elephants shouldn't be scared of anything they're gigantic but they are scared of bees and wasps and stuff Okay, the Humbaba's got to oversoul soon. I feel like I've fought like six or seven. And I fought a bunch of behemoths before. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, Koneko! Yes, I can give you VIP, of course. Here we go. That should give it to you. Okay. Oh, no Oversoul yet. Jesus. There you go. Now you got gem name. Hell yeah. Oh, it looks so pretty on you. So nice. Lovely gem name. I don't even like Steven Universe, but now I'm a gem, yes. You know, I never finished Steven Universe. I watched a lot of it and I kind of like fell out of it. I don't know. I need to go back and finish it so I know how it ends. Now that it's over. Oh wow, Pain got away with 15 health. The heck? Pain, you're a survivor.
Yeah, I totally should have, like, pre-done these on the behemoths instead of fighting Humbaba over and over. Oops. Best laid plans. She did. She lived through the pain. I can't believe it. What a trooper. It must be in the name. <laughs> Yay, Oversoul, finally. There we go. Let's get him. Yeah, he's still gonna meet here at the end. He's a dick. But at least we got him. All right. Let's continue. Okay, so there, the next thing for us is not going to be till floor 47. So we're going to have to go fight the level, the Cloister 40 boss next. So we only had two things in that kind of set of 40 that we had to... Dang it, I didn't mean to kill it. I was trying to keep the Oversoul for the Wasp. Oh well. I tried. Get out of here, Humbaba. I'm done with you. This way. Oh, no Vespas are still oversold. Okay, sweet. I thought killing it messed it up, but I must have killed it before the oversold animation even started to trigger. Lucky. So here's the boss. Um, let's go save. We need to also check and make sure that the drowsy ochu and the humbaba triggered. So, oh no, not save yet. Let's board the airship. Okay, yes, Humbaba's on there now. Okay, and Drowsy Ochu. Okay, fantastic. Oh, we can go back down. All right, let's fight the level 40 boss. 
Should be should be just be a tank and spank. Shouldn't have to do any strategy. I don't think anyway. Cause this is the um yeah. The elemental, the dark elemental. Yeah, I have ribbon on. You can't berserk me. What is it, lady? You wanna hop up here? You can hop up here. We catch you right here. You can't berserk me. You keep trying. Oh, hi lady. You hopped up on the other side. It's not where I expected you to go. Here we go. Thank you, lady. You helped me. Keep on. Moon Bracer. Hey, baby. The kitties have been so needy since we came back from the cruise. Like, it's been ridiculous. Isn't that right, lady? We've already been home for longer than we were gone. Okay, next one is floor um, 47. So we can super speed up again. What's up, lady? You want to get in my lap? You can lay in my lap. Yeah? There you go. Lay down. Oh, oh, you're just going to cross back and forth in front of the screen. Yeah, okay. I get it. This cat loves to pace. She just pace back and forth, back and forth. It's so hard to get her to settle down and just cuddle. Isn't that right, lady? You don't know how to do that. I mean, you know how to do it sometimes, but in general, you don't know how to do that. Yeah, you're so cute. Okay, what are we looking for? Oh yeah, for floor 47. We got a ways. <laughs> Lady's gonna start her own podcast. Lady, Lady, do you want to have a podcast? Do you want to have a podcast? Yeah, I see you sniffing. I think everybody would listen to your podcast. You could talk about kitty things, like the best catnips. And you can talk about Temptations treats, like how much you love them. Um, you can talk about all kinds of things. You can talk about the best way, best toys, and the best, your favorite game. You'll want to hear what her favorite game is. Lady's favorite game ever is to get one of her toys it, any kind of little like ball like toy she has fuzzy ones she has crinkly ones she has jingly ones she has all kinds anyway she plays with these toys she bats them around she bats them underneath the crack in a door like for the closets they're the best doors of to do this for in the closets because she cannot get into the closets and then her, the next the next part of the game is to go up to levi and meow at him until he opens the closet for her. And then she goes into the closet and gets her toy back, right? And then you play the game all over again. So there's batting phase, right? And then there's closet phase. And she'll do this over and over and over again. It is her favorite game. She puts it in the closet on purpose also, I swear. Like I swear the closet part is not, it's not like they go under there by accident. Like she puts them there purposefully so that she can go meow at Levi and get him to open the closet for her. Okay, those helm guys right there, we gotta get them oversold as well. So if one of those oversolds, I'll also try to like escape from it like we did with the wasp, so they're pre-done. Okay, 44. We gotta get to 47. 
She left, by the way. She didn't like me telling her story. <laughs> Maybe, is that an embarrassing game? She's in the hallway. Is that an embarrassing game, lady? Are we not supposed to know that you're doing the closet part on purpose? I don't think we're supposed to know that, but she definitely does it on purpose. No question. Okay, 45. Thrust kick always fails. I'm convinced that it's programmed wrong. That that's not the intention. That he's supposed to thrust kick it at the end and it is supposed to work and eject one of the characters. But in no version of the game does it actually do that. I think it is supposed to be like Meteor, or it just, it always happens. All right, 46, we need one more, yep, okay. I knew this was going to be one of those floors. This way. Yes, this is where it starts. All right. Oh. Oh, it's the Dutch angle. Oh, cactuars. Okay, this is what we need. We need to kill 15 cactuars to get them to oversoul. So let's turn up the frequency. Get a bunch. And cactuars appear on... They appear in a long range. 47 through 59. So, big, big range. I wonder if anything has a bigger range than that. I feel like that's massive. Ultima weapon. Man, if we could get him to be oversold before we get to the Omega weapons, that would be awesome. Although we're gonna have to kill a bunch of Omega weapons anyways. Mighty Guard G! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? I need more cactuars. There we go. More cactuars.
Oh, not Oversoul yet. It's four Cactuars. Oh, there's the Oversoul! Yay! Okay. Now we need to get to floor 50 for the next one. All right, so on floor 50 through 59, we need to get the Wasp Queen, which we're already ready for as soon as one pops up, and the Heavy Salette. So we might end up needing to go back to the airship to get, um, oh yep, there's the Wasp Queen, um, to fight more Helms, because uh, it takes 14 of them to get the Heavy Salette to Oversoul. So I don't know, that might take a while. It might be faster to go back to the airship, but I don't know. There's a, there's a huge level range here. Um, 50 through 59. So we're just going to run through these and see what happens first. So yep, here's 51. We get to like 58 and then figure out what we want to do from there. Because these are dying pretty quickly. I guess I've got good enough, like, accessories and everything that it's, like, all gravy. See, these are the giant ones. The giant ones that appear in, like, the, um, little cactuar mini dungeon area. Oh, Yuna finally learned ether. So that's 52. Haven't run across any heavy salads yet. Try to find one so we can just farm that spot. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh, he's taking forever to kill. And of course, he's paired with a stupid mushroom. Maybe we need to kill him first. There we go. Okay. Got him. We just need to run around here for more heavy salads. Run, run. Okay, let's turn up the the encounter rate. Oh, we could just finish samurai. Okay, let's see. Let's make sure. Yeah, we've got the crown. Okay, what else? She can do psychic. All right, let's um, equip Riku with psychic. And then she'll know everything. Um, let's look at Yuna. 
Yeah, you even still need samurai. She's working on the the nine 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 one right now. My God. Um, what about pain? Okay, yeah, she's almost got ether. But oh, and then psychic. Okay. So she'll be right there with Riku. Need a better look at Riku's psychic uniform. This floor is not a good place to look at it because the enemies are so big, so they're going to get zoomed out. I think it's cute, though. I think from what I can see here, she's got like a cute little skirt and a long sleeve sailor top. I think that's cute. Okay, so we've had to kill two heavy salads so far. Oh, there we go. Pain, learn, and ether. Okay, now Pain and Yuna are both on the uh, the last skill, that 999 skill. Ah, there's the Oversoul. That didn't take too long. stop is going to be floor 60 for the next boss. There is nothing else until floor 60, until after floor 60. And we are going to have to do special strat for that boss. It will be Conqueror. So we're going to have to do our Berserker strat, I think. I think that's what I do think I do Berserker strat for both him and Chalk. Obviously I do Berserker strat for Chalk. Actually for Oversoul, I don't know if I do. I just do mascots for Oversoul Chalk. I have no idea how you beat Oversoul Chalk. I've never done, not done it before. But if it's anything like Oversoul Conqueror, the normal strat will not work. Ah, I didn't dodge properly. We got to kill one of them. Come on, Elder Drake, take it. I know I can get you. On, just die already. You see how much you're missing me? There we go. I like how Riku lays down in the air when she's psychic. I think that is fun. Dang it. I forgot there was one right there on this one. Oh, well, we'll fight him too. We'll get another Mega Potion. Oh, no, I can walk around him. Okay, fabulous. I dodged good. Not on purpose, but I did do it. That was my instincts kicking in.
Oh, well, got two shots. We can two shot the uh, Tom Berries now. Nice. Oh, yep. Got to go around. Oh, you are in the way, sir. There we go. The camera was being taken up by your butt. Stop defensing up. There we go. Got you. Whee! Okay, almost there. Oh, I didn't even look at what skills, like, Riku was learning as the, uh, psychic. Let's make sure. Oh, yeah, let's get her her passives first. Yeah, I do like her, uh, her psychic one. I like how she still wears her thief headgear when she's in the psychic. I think that's cool. Because she can go out of uniform for that. Oh my god, stop casting defense up! There we go. All right, here we go, boss floor. Um, let's do what we did before. We're gonna go back up, and we're gonna check and make sure that the Oversouls we did registered. So the ones that we did since last time we checked was Cactuar, Wasp, Queen, and Heavy Salad. So let's make sure those are on there. Yep, Heavy Salad, there's Heavy Salad. There's Wasp, Queen, and Cactuar should be... Yep, right there. Okay. Sweet. So they registered. Alright, let's save before we do the next battle. And for Conqueror... Uh, what garment grid are we using? let's check here. Valiant Luster. We're still using Valiant Luster. 
I guess there's no reason not to. Okay. Um, because they've not, they're not high enough to break the, uh, the HP limit. Okay. Elliot Luster, yes. Let's put Berserker in the middle there. And let's equip everybody with Berserker. All right, let's go beat up Conqueror. We got this. This stupid snail don't know what's getting him. Thank God we already beat him for his oversoul last time. On accident, but but still, we did it. Thank you so much for the lurk. We love our lurkers here. I'm gonna beat this guy up. And then actually it's several floors before we have our next oversoul we need to do. Got this, girls. Got this. And Berserker is OP with their reg and stuff. Oh my god. I love it. Why are you picking on pain so much with your press? <laughs> I whine. I whine that they're picking, he's picking on pain with his press, and he's like, fine, I'll press Yuna. HUD. what you get for saying something? I guess it was eventually Riku's turn to get pressed.
Yuna finally got gunked. Okay, now no one has any more MP. Not that they were ever gonna use it. strat that doesn't require you to think. You just push button. Just push button and win. It's okay if it takes a minute. Push button and win. He looks like he's getting tired. I bet he is. You getting tired, Conqueror? You getting tired of this? You realizing that you're, you're never going to beat me? It's not possible? Yeah. It's not. I win. I win. He's not here. That's right. All right, now we need to get down to Cloister 70. Let's speed up and let's see what we can do to run down there. Oh. Eventually I'm going to get to the point where it's like annoying to beat up the monsters and we'll probably like Uh, oh, they have no MP either. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh. And we'll probably like turn off encounters unless we're like farming something specific. All right, they got their MP back. This way. Whoa, big Tom Berry. Luckily, we do not have to do that one. We've already done him. We beat him up when we got Cry in the Night. Last run. I go backwards for this one, right? Yeah, go this way. Whee! Yeah, we did it. Oh, these floors. Okay. Uh, let's not let's not have super speed. This one. Yeah, take that. Oh, I guess it's the third one.
<laughs> All right, what we are eventually looking for four on cloister number 70 is the Azidaka, which is a boss that you fight at the end of the game. <laughs> but we need to oversoul him, so we'll have to go find him and get him to oversoul. Way to get to cloister 70. Let's see, Tonberry, backwards. I didn't realize those uh those bugs showed up a little bit sooner. I guess it's the uh the bigger the bigger bugs of that uh optional dungeon that show up in the later floors. But the littler ones, the easier ones show up much earlier than I thought. No Oh thank god. I thought for a second I was going to have to fight the stupid Tomberry, which I cannot do. <laughs> I definitely have to put on mascots for that. Oh, no, it did put me on the Tomberry. God fucking damn it. And you can't escape. Yeah, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're just going to have to reload. We have to reload from the, the last point. Yeah, bye. Bye, game over. Game over. Thank God for uh, auto saves. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's going too fast. Okay. Don't screw it up this time, Karen. Jesus. Tick, tick, boom. Bye, Tom Berry. Okay. Don't be stupid this time. There we go. Drop down the proper way. if there's any kind of clue to like which one of the four it's going to be other than not the portal one. But there's only a few possible guesses so I've never really like tried to see.
I love two-shotting Tonberries. So satisfying. Boop, boop. Ah! Oh, I did it again. Ran into this stupid Tonberry. i kill your baby. It's okay. I got your baby, Mr. Mega. Can't believe I did that twice. Okay, here we go. Okay, don't turn on the super speed yet. There we go. Get around this guy. Alright, we are on Cloister 70, where we can get Azidaka, which is our next one that we need to get. However, I am actually going to run out and save. Let's turn off Encounter so we can run around and find where the uh, little glowy thing is for this cloister. Is it this way? Usually the glowies are like if you go the wrong direction or something. Is there not one here? I did not see a single one on this cloister. Where is the... the backtrack? The send me up glowing thing. Hello? Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, yes. Return me to the surface. Alright, we are gonna save. And tomorrow, tomorrow, we will be oversouling Azidaka. We have one, two, three, four, five, six left oversoul, which includes Chalk and Paragon. Okay. Oh. What's happening? Oh, <laughs> I was accidentally pushing the button. I was accidentally pushing the button. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. It's possible that tomorrow we might finish this run and start on the final run of this game. We'll see. We'll see. Okay? All right. For y'all watching the recorded ver uh, VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Come on over to my Twitch if you want to see me live. Um, after we finish Final Fantasy X-2, we will be playing another Final Fantasy. We will be playing another. And I always show you guys everything from a game, okay? All right. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. Um, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.